This is the Sachiko puzzle from Nothing Yet Designs. Welcome to episode 91 of Puzzle Time. I'm Tyler, this is Linnea. We are showing you puzzles today from a company called Nothing Yet Designs. Let's just get into it. Who are these guys, Linnea? We're, we've seen them before on here, right? We've talked yeah. about them. Uh, the guy's name who does this is Ty Staley. Yeah. Now, Ty Staley has made Dabit Invasion. Now, if you've watched our online buzz, we talked about Dabit Invasion and the Five Sinatras uh, review of Dabit Invasion. It's a really cool puzzle. I believe it's sold out everywhere. I we couldn't find it anywhere, so it might still be in production. I don't know if he's fully made it yet or what's going on with yeah. it. But. Yeah. And then we also watched uh, what did I get myself into solving the Paro dice. Yeah. Um, so that was really good, and I enjoyed that. Uh, Tanner and his daughter. Now, do you remember her name? Oh, I'm gonna forget. Geneva. Geneva, right? Tanner <laughs> and Geneva. They solved it. Great solve. Great puzzle, it's sequential designs, two big dice. So that is Nothing Yet Designs. We've got three new ones here to the Puzzle Master website from Nothing Yet Designs. And we've never had Nothing Yet on here before. So um, this is new company to yeah, us. Yeah, new stuff from Puzzle Master, or here at Puzzle Master. We get, we get new stuff fairly often, but uh, yeah. These are, so the company that we found, I guess, on Etsy again, so. Yeah. Good stuff, yeah. Um, yeah, let's just get into it, I think. I had a chance to play with one of these the other day, but I couldn't get anywhere with it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's start with Gem, gem Pack. Okay. Now, this is called Gem Pack. I like the packaging in these. They're kind of like packaging inside of packaging. And I, I like these like plastic bags that they come in. I think it's unique and interesting. Uh, and I think these puzzles are really unique. Now, these are all acrylic. Ooh. Now, in the pictures on our website, I actually had trouble telling what was all going on with these because there's kind of layers in the puzzle. So I really was excited to see. So the pieces slide in here and then you have to fit them all within. Like, I don't know if it, these have to be fully flush with pieces like the holes here, or if it just has to fit into the frame. But this is the one mm. I tried and I was having trouble getting anywhere with it. Like This is heavy. Yeah. I was expecting this, this thing to be lighter. I think it might be because of these screws, but maybe their acrylics just the really acrylic's thick. Acrylic's pretty thick too. This is thick acrylic. This is like a weighty. The, the, the puzzle itself is weighty. Like this is. Huh. But yeah, like I could get three pieces in max. I couldn't get that fourth one in at all. So there's. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna take this puzzle apart. Let's do it. This you you <laughs> keep yours together. I'm gonna take this one apart. I just want to see. I want to see how this works inside. Because these are pretty easy to come off. Yeah. I just want to see what the layers are because that's what I was having trouble envisioning when we were in our pictures was actually what what makes up the puzzle inside. I, I hope hopefully this isn't giving away part of the solution <laughs> or something. Like, the only other thing I just I don't know if the solution means they're covering or not. So we hold on, hold on. Let's just let's just crack this open. Mm -hmm. Now look, there's the outer frame that's got that. Yeah. There we go. You see the four four gem shapes. And then there's an inner frame right there. That's kind of like the um, hourglass symbol. It does, yeah, it looks like And then this one looks like a butterfly. And then this is the same as the front. So it's essentially this middle. So, if you think... Would this be around this piece though, since it's like that? Something like that. Or would that So not... essentially you're gonna have to pack... You're gonna have to slide them in, inside. Yeah. I imagine, see, like, look, they're, they're going to fit there. So I imagine you're going to be able to go to the edge here with that. Huh, this is a unique, kind of interesting puzzle. Look at that. That kind of like packs in there. Would you have to put them on the table first and see how they all fit together? Like, would you assemble it first outside and then try I to guess. slide it in? These are unique. Like, they're, they're uniquely shaped um, pieces, hey? 
Interesting. If you notice on the gems too, one is side is etched in and the other side is completely flush. Oh really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to put this back together now. That's all back together. So these pieces are going to go in through the top only, right? Mm -hmm. You can't obviously can't get them around the outside. We showed that piece in the middle. So you're going to drop them in. And then obviously these holes are for manipulating the pieces inside there. Um, hmm. Cool. Okay. Let's move on. Gems pack right there. What level is this? This so is level, level seven. Seven. And it's from, it's not, so it is made by Nothing Yet Designs, but it is designed by Frederick Boucher. Now, Frederick does two of these puzzles. Let's do, let's do the other one. Let's do the Sachiko. Sachiko. Yeah. I think that's how you say it. Again, cool blue packaging on this one. I like it. Um, ooh, two bags again. And also, we didn't show this, but it does come with a thank you for solving with their contact info. Oh, on the back, it says oh, we're cool. Cool. Yeah. So it just says fit them all in the frame. It doesn't say they have to be covering the... Yeah. Doesn't say they what? Oh, it'll completely fit inside of the opening, of course. Yeah, it doesn't say if you have to cover the holes or not. Yeah, it doesn't. I, I think those holes on the gems puzzle is just for like manipulating the pieces inside of it. But, well, I appreciate the packaging on this. I like it. It's it's simple, but it's fun. It actually... If you ever bought like computer parts, this, these bags remind me of the bags that are like computer <laughs> parts. Kind of. Yeah. This. So... Okay, so Chico. Now, this is actually the one for me that kind of stood out. I, this is the one that caught my attention most of the three, I think, that we're showing today. So this one I tried to play with too because I was trying to do a TikTok video on some of these or YouTube short on them. Yeah. But again, this piece right here, I don't know if you can oh, see it, like an extra is what layer. restricted me. Yeah, that extra layer. I couldn't figure out how to fit it so in at all. Three of the pieces are completely flat and normal on both sides, but the middle, the one, has a like a hump in it. Yeah. Now that's that's gonna fit in the back here, right? But how do you get it in there? They only can slide in through this way, and then that hump can't get. What, they slide in through there. Yeah, that's how what I found. Cause right back here, they can't go in. They have to slide in through here. So again, it's a it's a three layer puzzle. Um, should I take it apart again? Let's just take it apart. Sure. I want to see. I want to see what that middle layer looks like. Let's pull it apart here. So just to get an idea of what you're working with on the inside. Because I, again, that's what I'm going to say. It's hard on pictures to see what's all in these. That may be the solve if you can get them in that yeah, way. Yeah, absolutely. This piece would be... Okay, try it out. You, you, you've, got piece. Your, you've got your thing there now. Okay, so all the screws are off. Oh, shoot. There's washers in there. Uh oh. There's washers that create a little bit of space in, uh, in the corners. But look at this, look at, look at the inside. The inside has a little cutout right here. Oh, so you're gonna use that cutout to... <laughs> I don't know, maybe oh. maybe I shouldn't be showing this. Maybe this is like showing some of the secrets of the <laughs> puzzle. I don't know. See this one, I can't get to rotate into the right position. Are the pieces, like sh show the pieces, are they, uh, are they all pretty similar or the same piece? Other than that, like one little difference? They are all similar, except for the only differentiation is this piece here. It's a rounded corner, whereas these ones are all... Which one has a rounded corner? This one here has a rounded corner at the edge here, whereas the rest of them are all just straight. I'm going to guess that that rounded corner then is the last one that rotates in. It's the, it's the one that rotates in. Yeah. I don't know. Can we... Now, hold on. Can we, can we do that? But let me just try. Let me just try here and see if that'll actually work. Because then you'd want to get it. How far over can this thing go? Is essentially kind of what it is. I don't know. I don't know if it'll do what I'm, I'm hoping it would. Mm. And it's actually kind of hard to move over these in here a little bit, hey? Nope, I definitely will not. It will not do that. So, I've got that wrong. Yeah, interesting piece or interesting puzzle. We'll, we won't solve it today. I believe this one. That's the Chico from uh, Nothing Yet, Nothing Yet Designs. <laughs> Just having trouble talking. Uh, again, designed by Frederick Boucher. And let's go to the last one here. This is called Poppin J. It's a level nine. So it is the hardest one of all these. The chances are very good. We're not going to solve it. 
it kind of reminds me of some that we've had though before where they're the flat pack so yep yep and it is designed by Haim Hirsch um you know what I'm actually not gonna open mine you open yours you can play with that one a little bit uh, again, you can see it's kind of two layers of acrylic. One is clear and the other one is not. There's kind of like an opaque thing on the back here. It's got a little hole. There you can push out this J piece. How many J pieces is this? It's essentially just like a repeating J. 11. So there's 11. You can see when it comes, it obviously like, it does not come in the solid state, which I appreciate the J. Is the, there's one last J here you gotta fit in. Now, how do these interlock with each other? Huh. Interesting. So it's not gonna be flush, possibly? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, not flush? Well, like, is there gonna be holes in there? Oh, or definitely. is everything gonna be? Definitely, I mean, you look at look at this right now, right? Like this is essentially, there's so many holes in here. So you're just gonna have to fit one more piece in. So there's definitely gonna be holes in the puzzle, for sure. I'm thinking it's gonna be some weird There's gonna be a lot. There's, like there's, there's, there's gonna be at least three of these like longer shapes worth of um, holes. Do you think it's, do you think it's an offset? That, that's actually interesting. I feel I like it might that. be an offset because a lot of these packing puzzles are like, I've done quite a few now on TikTok and yeah. YouTube and they're not like, you don't go in the corners at all. They're yeah. offsets. So. Yeah. Where it's offsets and it's going to sit funny like that. I, I think you could very well be right because there's going to be enough empty space that that would account for like some of these corners probably. And then Maybe. do you think there's going to be some that sit like that <laughs> offset too? Or do you think they're going to sit together know. like it, that? Here, let me, let's show this. Yeah. So you're saying it could be like even that, like where there's goofy stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot. I feel like there's a lot of options. There's actually quite a bit of uh, space up in the top here. Um, yeah. This one freaks me out a little bit. There's no way. There's no way we're going to solve this right here. <laughs> um yeah i like these good puzzles good stuff I, I hope we get more from nothing yet designs i'll say that i've seen so like i said that that uh dabbit invasion looks really cool as does the uh paradise uh i really like those um and again go to what did i get myself into watch that paradise what did I get myself into to watch that Paradise uh, solution or solve? And then Dabit Invasion was again reviewed by Five Sinatras. So, yeah, new company, nothing yet designs. You're technically two. two yeah, I know. <laughs> I wasn't anywhere close, but. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool, I like those. Let's get into the online buzz. The online buzz. Okay. Why don't you start us off? You, you go ahead. You, you talk about some of these Let's online buzz Pick things. my favorite one today. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really liked, oh, I don't even, we, I can't say this guy's name because it was in Chinese, but I will give you the translation it of is, what we found. I got a clarification. It is Mandarin. Mandarin. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is Mandarin. So this is the translation from Mandarin to English. It's called GM's secret base. GM's secret base. Mm -hmm. now, on YouTube, it looks like GM and then a whole bunch of like, can't uh, Mandarin. Like Mandarin characters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he is from Taiwan. So I don't know. Not very good with where things are in Asia. <laughs> I'm just trying to think Taiwan's about that. Like close to China. Okay. <laughs> um, my favorite one from him was probably either the Cuckoo or the Excalibur by Pelican. Yeah, I and forget who he also had the pro number four. I like that one too. Yeah, uh, really good videos. I'll say this. I didn't understand a lot of what he was saying, but um, it was easy to tell what he was doing and kind of the way yeah. he was going. It was really good production value. He had about 171,000 uh, subscribers, I think. So a pretty big channel and uh, one we hadn't seen before. Yeah, uh, at least not me and Linnea, but we did find out that he has been in, in contact with us here at Puzzle Master uh, previously. So, um, yeah. What I liked idea. about his too is that he takes it and he draws out on paper or on computer mechanics of how the puzzle works too. It's not just yeah. solving the puzzle, he's showing you all the well, he had a few details of how things go together. So we watched Excalibur and we were we were wondering, like we we're watching it, like what is going on? Because there was a piece like on the top out of the, his Excalibur, like a cutout in like the top of the frame and so we went back and watched the video a little more in detail and uh realized that he had like broke the <laughs> a piece out accidentally um 
So we thought maybe it was some sort of like Chinese reproduction of Excalibur. Definitely not. It was a Pelican <laughs> one. Um, but he had done the Excalibur solution. It looked like a whole bunch of his, his subscribers had asked for it because at the start of the video, he had like all these like comments and kind of kept saying the same uh, Mandarin word that I didn't know what it meant, but I assume it meant Excalibur. Yeah. Um, and then, so in Excalibur, he showed, uh, we have a program called Burr Tools. And I, he didn't show exactly, I think, Burr Tools, but it was something like that where it's a computer program that works with um, with uh, Burr, Burr puzzles. And it shows you, like, it'll, it'll generate or mathematically figure out how, uh, how you solve it and stuff. So it's a way to cheat on a solve, but designers use them to design their puzzles and figure out how many solutions there are and stuff like that. So he showed the video of like the the solution in like this graphic representation and then like you were talking about he also i think on the pro number four he had his his like ipad or some sort of tablet out and he was like drawing on it and drawing like illustrations kind of like what um chris ramsey mr puzzle uh puzzle guy other guys do but he just had a little more high tech i appreciate that yeah and he, was he has a good character too and he's doing different things yeah. in the video like very, it kind of keeps you entertained like very keeps you animated. laughing yeah yeah it's fun yeah but it was good i enjoyed yeah i enjoyed that one too gm secret base go check it out um we'll put a link because gm secret base definitely did not bring it up on youtube <laughs> i'm hoping that when you type yeah. it in it would work but it didn't um so next there is a new facebook group that we found called mechanical puzzle community on facebook Go check them out. It's all like the mechanical puzzle people. And I don't know if it's related at all to the Discord group, um, the mechanical puzzle Discord, but uh, definitely go check it out. Facebook, a mechanical puzzle community. So, yeah, and you get a chat with all the top guys in that group, Yeah, right? it's a lot. I think it's fairly new. It was, uh, I think it's only uh, at this time about 200 and some people in it. So I think it's really brand new though. Go on there, look at, look at it and join the group because there'll be some good puzzle discussion there, I guarantee. There's already some like the, the heavy hitters from the puzzle community mm -hmm. on there. And then last, um, oh, what's the last one here? Deadwood Crafts, right? Yeah, this was yeah. another adventure through Facebook. <laughs> so we, we have a few places we go to to find some of this online buzz stuff. And so sometimes it leads you down this like, like uh, what do you call it? Like a rabbit hole? A rabbit hole or rabbit funnel. trail. Or... I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. So <laughs> we started on the Puzzle Friends Facebook group. Saw a puzzle on there that wasn't even like, it wasn't even a post about the puzzle. It was just like, oh, that's a cool looking puzzle. It was and welcoming then, people to the group. Yeah, exactly. And it was <laughs> a puzzle by D. Dixon and Deadwood Crafts. And it was called Portal. Now, I'd never heard of or seen this before, but we have had stuff by D. Dixon and Deadwood in before at PuzzleMaster.ca. But this was one called Portal, like I said. And then from there, we went into Five Sinatras had a review of portal and a whole bunch of other D Dixon puzzles. And then we also found um, yeah. out that Five Sinatras has a YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, Five Sinatras is a blog uh, that does reviews and honestly, probably the best blog out there that I've seen. I love Five Sinatras reviews and they're really good, really in depth. And he, the, whoever it is, Five Sinatras, they get really good puzzles. So it's some unique stuff that you don't see anywhere else. So we often go to Five Sinatras to like check out what's happening in the puzzle world. Um, he kind of leaves a mystery of who he is though, because they couldn't figure that out yeah. at all. <laughs> on his YouTube channel, we couldn't find a name or where he's from, but on his YouTube channel, you do see his face. So. Yeah. Yeah. Worth checking out. Uh, also check out Puzzle Friends. And then, I mean, if you haven't heard of E. Dixon and Deadwood Crafts before, definitely go check them out. Um, what was, do you remember what the puzzle was we have on Puzzle Master from? Blinded 2. Yeah, Blinded 2. So really good. Um, yeah, I think another one that's just going to be hard to get because he makes really, really good puzzles. And they're going to be mm. expensive though too. It's on the, the more expensive side of the, the puzzle thing, but in, insanely well done. And this portal looked quite interesting. It caught my attention for sure. I looked unique. So yeah, that's the end of Online Buzz. That's all we've got for you today. It's episode 91 of Puzzle Time. You can go find us on social media. On YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And then we have our newsletter. On our website. Yeah. So yeah, do that. Lene does a lot of the social media. You'll be chatting with her on Facebook if you're uh, connecting on there. there, And then she does all our videos on TikToks too. So check it out. Very good stuff. We appreciate you guys watching. That's the end of episode 91. And uh, our, all our puzzles by Nothing Yet Design. Hopefully we can get more from these guys. So cool. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see ya.